and five cattle breeders are now in the custody of the police after being arrested for illegally grazing inside a maize farm at night. This incident took place at a community in Riyom council area of Plateau State. Our correspondent Funam Joshua reports. Illegal grazing and mowing down of farmlands by suspected cattle rearers has been a serious challenge bedeviling some communities in Plateau State. Several meetings between farmers and herders have been initiated by the state and federal governments towards settling the conflicts between them. Such efforts seems not to have yielded desired results at the moment. This latest development has brought another setback to the peace efforts in many communities. The intervention of the council chairman when alerted of the illegal night grazing helped in arresting the suspects. Um, yesterday, uh, the villagers told Hall to tell me that um, uh, they've seen cows uh, grazing on their farmlands in the night. Uh, and we quickly informed the security um, to go there because we had asked the villagers to actually not go to the farm, uh, not to go and chase the cows at that time in the night. Uh, this morning we came to inspect and we realized that um, uh, some people have mischievously and intentionally pushed their cows into the farmland uh, in order to destroy the crops. The leader of the local community shares with us their challenges as farmers in the area. If you talk, then the result is either they machete you or they shoot you, they are gone. In most cases, they always hunt with, uh, uh, rear their cows with uh, uh, AK-47. Um, you can not even go closer to any of them when they are on the action. Seeing them destroying your farm, you cannot go closer. Over a million naira was recently paid as a compensation to farmers whose crops were mowed by cattle rearers, as asserted by the council chairman. In the, in the past two, three months, we've had to intervene in so many villages. Uh, we had to ask them to pay compensation. Uh, in the past one month, uh, I know they had had to pay compensation over a million naira to different villages, uh, which is even not uh, commiserate with the level of destruction uh, they've had on the farms. Uh, I think it is intentional. They just want to uh, ensure that uh, the, the, the people live in more abject poverty. They want to ensure that the economy of the locality uh, that has been destroyed, you know, because of the incessant crisis in the past 20 years is not rebuilt. President Mohamed Dubari, through the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, has emphasized government's commitment towards tackling all acts of criminality in the country. The government again has directed that all perpetrators of criminal acts must be brought to justice irrespective of who they are in society. Phnom Joshua, TVC News.